Okay, so this is the original cable that came with the HS1177 FPV cam. And what's really important is that you get into the OSD menu in the camera to change the um, wide dynamic range. But the problem is you only ha you have this cable to interface with it, uh, which isn't really FPV friendly off the bat. So real quick, what you can do is um, what I did was I cut this cable off, okay? And I saw it on. Here's the camera. There's the OSD uh, interface. I cut the ca uh, that or um, video cable, and I found a spare RCA cable. And you can use audio. It could be white or red or green, purple. It it doesn't matter because it doesn't care. You're just gonna solder the ground to the ground and the center uh, wire to the center wire of this, the signal. Okay. So signal and ground basically. So that gives me a nice jack to plug into my monitor. And then on the other end that comes out of this uh, is your power. Now you can cut this and put whatever connector you want on it and run it to a 12 volt power source. You know, 5 to 12, 22 volts actually. So I just have mine going right to a uh, 12 volt battery. And I gotta put the phone down to uh, set it up. I'm gonna show you, plug it, show you it plugged in and that it works great. All right, well there it is, plugged in. Super simple. RCA's jack plugged in. There's the camera. There's the power connector. Going to a simple 12 volt battery. And then all you gotta do is uh, press, go into the menu system. And what you wanna do is you wanna change the exposure to uh, dynamic wide range and you want to select that to on okay hit return and then hit exit and you're done and now your camera your HS1177 is set up for wide dynamic range and it's going to give you much better performance so that's how you can get uh, into the OSD menu without having to fire up your um, FPV system, you know, at all, just in the shop, hook it to a television set. Hope you found that interesting and useful. If not, what are you watching this for?